I mean. A day in the life of a loser. Here's me, waking up. And then immediately regretting that decision. Now I'm looking outside, because there's a storm and I want to see the lightning. Kachow. This is me having a crisis over the fact that Instagram and Facebook know literally everything about you. Like, they keep track of your location and everything, not just things you specifically post. And they use that stuff to advertise things to you and I just got an advertisement from the Burlington County Library, even though I never actually told Instagram where I lived. But they know everything. 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 But then I realized that hey, at least the COPPET Act prohibits companies collecting that data from kids under 13, so it's not that bad. And then I realized that kids lie about being over 13 so they can make accounts on social media all the time, which means those companies are still collecting data from them. Yikes. This is me trying on my favorite hat. And this is me trying on my second favorite hat. Anyways, this is my collection of signs that I found in the woods. Wow, very cool. And then I realized that taking signs is technically illegal even if they were knocked over in the woods, and I've posted about it on TikTok, and that could be used against me in court if I ever get caught. Oopsie daisy. In conclusion, social media is scary. I know what you're thinking. Why would I tell you all this stuff? Because I know none of y'all are just going to stop using social media. And that's not the goal. Social media is quite a significant resource for our generation, and I would be stupid to say we shouldn't use it. But safety on social media is something that's super overlooked by teens. So here are some important steps you should take to protect yourself online. Don't be afraid of blocking people. It's the best way to keep unwanted people from seeing your content. Think about it this way. If you want to block somebody, it's probably because they're trash. And hey, there's no littering here. But not everyone is who they say they are on social media. I mean, I could be posting pictures like this, but actually look like this. I mean, you never know. So it's really important to use caution when connecting with strangers through social media. Avoid sites and apps that sound like this. What is your social security number? Give me your credit card information. What is your mother's maiden name? I'm so sorry, people. Asking for personal information is a big red flag, so be weary of such. Think before you post. Anybody can see what you post, and Things can get you in a lot of trouble. There's stories about people getting fired for posting stuff about their job or, you know, posting at work. Also, um, if you post anything that could get you in legal trouble, the posts that you made on social media could be used against you in like a court of law. And social media platforms can give even a private post over to law enforcement. Also, there's a lot of bad people on the internet. Uh oh, stinky. And if you don't have a private account, those people can see your posts too. So you should really think and make sure that what you're posting won't get you in any trouble and also isn't anything that you would regret or could be used against you. Yes, I am in a washing machine. Please do not question me. I know you've heard it a million times before, but remember that what you put on the internet can be permanent. Companies like Instagram, they'll keep data from anything you post or any information you put on your bio or profile or whatever. They'll keep that data up to six months after it's deleted. But also think about whoever's on the receiving end of, you know, a post or you know whoever's seeing that information that you put out there they can easily collect that information and keep it and use it against you so just remember some stains never come out 
I am so sorry for that. Whoa. <laughs>